Welcome back to Farage on GB News. Well, the voters in the latest poll that's out just today seem to think the Prime Minister's on the right track in delaying many of the serious obligations of net zero. I want him to go much, much further. Personally, I want to scrap the whole thing. I think it's a job destroyer. I think it sends our money overseas. I think it's a catastrophe. That's nothing, you know, we can save the environment. We can protect our environment, of course. We all want cleaner air. But net zero is the wrong thing at the wrong price. But here is an entrepreneur, highly successful founder of Phones For You with me, John Caldwell. Uh, a very good evening, John. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you completely disagree with me, and I think you disagree with the Prime Minister. You think he's got it completely wrong, John? I do, absolutely, and good evening to you. No, I absolutely disagree. Um, if we look at where the planet's going, and I've been studying this for about 20 years, I've got no scientific uh, experience, but what I have got is a brain that can look at all the data that's coming that's come through over the last 20 years and all of that suggests a real apocalyptic event or series of events over the next 20 30 years and do we want that actually to happen now i don't agree ab absolutely don't agree that uh, looking after the environment is not commensurate with growing wealth quite the reverse is true net zero is going to happen no matter what like your previous speaker said it is going to happen and if we're at the forefront of developing technologies and intellectual technologies and production capabilities, we can export all that over the world. Now, I've been lobbying the Conservative government now for three and a half years, asking them to create a tax-free enterprise zone to bring all the best brains from around the world to set up businesses in the UK on all forms of environmental technology from turning the Everest, uh, the Everest mountain of plastics into whatever we can do with them, whether that's building blocks or other or other products, right the way through from that to tidal uh, energy, anything that is environmentally friendly that can be commercially viable. Yeah, if John, we did all, if we did all that, you know that. If, but if, for the this is a business opportunity. It's a massive, massive we, we, business. John, we keep hearing that it's a great opportunity, but actually what it's doing at the moment is destroying jobs. It's sending jobs uh, overseas. We've got steel jobs down in Paul Talbot. I was down there just last week. 3,000 jobs, families, incomes being thrown on the scrap heap of net zero, John. And yet it's just 1% of green jobs. Even the Office of National John, Statistics says that. You're a businessman, I presume. I don't know what you do. I've run 20 or 30 different businesses, and I can tell you, at any one time, some of those businesses were really struggling because they were yesterday's cold bacon. And what we have to do is move forward to futuristic businesses. There is no doubt whatsoever that environmental technologies are the future commercially and will produce massively we massive wealth for Britain and massive job creation, providing the government incentivise people to do it now. Well, yeah, now I, that, I, I hear that, John, that, but, the, but the reality is, John, that that's no, taxpayers' no, cash. No, no, it's not taxpayers' cash. There's no such if thing as government get, money. No, are you listening or challenging? Wait until I've made my point. If the government now launch an enterprise zone to bring businesses from all over the world, they give tax-free incentives, that costs the taxpayer not a dime because all it is is money that it's no tax being paid, but it wasn't going to get paid anyway. And what we do is we have, say, a 10-year corporation tax holiday to give them a chance to develop the products and to invest in their businesses and start producing, and then maybe a guarantee for another 10 or 20 years that they only pay 50% of the corporation tax rate because they're in a very desirable business that's helping. Now, if we do that, that costs the taxpayer not a penny. We grow jobs, we grow exports, well, and we grow a commercial future for Britain. And yeah, the steel worker jobs are sad. Look at how many jobs we lost in the mining industry. Yeah, we and, cannot see it. And, and the catastrophe, old John, for communities was devastating for decades. <laughs> John, I, I'm running out of time, John. The show is flying by, but I'm so glad you came on to put that view. This will run and run without question. Uh, John Caldwell, thanks for being with us on Farage at GB News.